All right, the sum of angles in the triangle is 180. All right, that means if you add this angle here, that angle there, and that angle there, it should come to 180 degrees. All right? Uh -huh. All right, this is very important. You need to remember this. Okay. All right, we're going to use this to work out some of angles in other polygons. So we're going to look at the next easy one, which is a rectangle. All right, triangle has got three sides. A rectangle has got how many sides? Four. Four sides, okay. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of the corners. All right, so from here. A minute. All right, and draw a line through the corner to another corner. All right, how many triangles do I have in mm. now? Uh, now? I think we have two. One here and oh, one done. here. Very good. So we've got a rectangle. Okay, rectangle's got four sides and two triangles. Uh -huh. Alright, remember each triangle has got 180 degrees. So what is the sum of angles in a rectangle? Mm, maybe we can sum this too, so 360. Very good, well done. Equals 360 degrees. Very good. Alright, we're going to go for another shape. All right. So if we try a five-sided shape, do you know what a five-sided shape is called? No. All right. Starts with a P. Try. Pentagram. Almost there. Yeah. Penta. Pentagon. Okay. Oh, pentagon. Okay. All right. So we've got a five-sided shape here. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Again. You've got to pick a point on it. All right, so I'm going to pick this edge here and draw it to another edge, another corner. Mm -hmm. Right? I've got another corner here. I'm going to do the same thing. Right? So this time we've got a pentagon. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many sides in the pentagon again? Uh, five. Well done, five sides. Okay, how many triangles in this pentagon? Three. Well done, three triangles. Okay. So it would be what? Three, three triangles. So this means... Yes. Okay. Um... I think this means this. Am I correct? Very good. 540 degrees. Well done. I think you understand this. Very good. All right. Now, when we're drawing the triangle, what you need to, when we're drawing the angles in, what you need to notice is, all right, if you just follow my arrow, all the lines are starting from the same point, mm -hmm. okay? And they're going to another corner. All right. Can you notice that the lines are not crossing at all? Mm -hmm. All right. So when you're drawing the triangles, the line cannot cross, and the lines have got to start from the same corner. So right, we're gonna. I'm gonna draw another one for you, and you. Okay. I'm gonna go for a six-sided shape. What's a six-sided shape called? I don't know, Miss. Oh, uh, starts with H. I'm sure you've seen this before. Um, I don't know. Okay, it's called a hexagon. Hexagon. Yes. Um, Have you heard that before? Yes. All right, hexagon. All right. Now, I want you to draw the triangles in this hexagon for me, please. Okay. Let me pick the right. line too. So... Here, good. Here, very good. And uh, um, no, no, no. Sorry, it must same corner. 
me Connor. Well done. <laughs> this. Very good. Well done. Okay. So, how many sides in a hexagon? You've got six sides. And how many triangles have you got? Four triangles. Very good. Four triangles. So, some of angles in a hexagon would be what? Uh, one, two, three, three. Very good. 720 degrees. Yes. All right. Does this make sense to you? Uh-huh. All right. Now, there's a faster way to do this without having to draw triangles in all the time. Okay. All right. So, we're going to go to the second one. So, go back to the rectangle. All right. Stop. Mm -hmm. Sides and two triangles. All right. Down to the pentagon, we've got five sides and three triangles. And on the hexagon, we've got six sides and four triangles. What do you think is happening here? What's the relationship between the number of sides and the number of triangles? N uh, minus one. Maybe. Is it mi minus one? Well, yes. is it one? All right, let's, let's go, get, no, go over it again. It's not, it's not minus two. Two, sorry. Minus two, very good. Well done. So if we know what the number of sides are, so basically, right, let's move this down a bit. And so we've got number of sides, take away two, all right, number of All right, what do we do next to work out the total angle? So we've got six sides, four triangles. Each, we know each triangle has got 180 degrees. All right, to find out the number of triangles, we we'll take two away from the number of sides. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. All right, so that means the total angle must be three minus two times 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's the formula for finding the angles in any polygon. Oh. Ten bricks. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, you're gonna have to explain that to me. What have I just been? How have I come across uh, with this formula? Where have I got that? You took the number of triangles, and you can find okay. this uh, with this. Um, observation here and mm -hmm. then you multiply by uh, the number of degrees you have in a triangle. Very good, well done. Excellent. All right, now we're going to think about a seven-sided shape. We're not going to draw it this time. I just want you to tell me how many angles in a seven-sided shape without drawing it. Oh, we have um, five triangles. Very good, well done. Uh -huh. So some of angles would be? Mm, 900. Very good, well done. 900 degrees. degrees yes. Okay, well done.